When the West imposed sanctions on Russia's aviation sector, it was expected that this would do damage to it and it did. What was not expected was that a novel piece of technology that the Russians had been working on and spurred by the sanctions would result in an innovation that puts Russia first in the world in this piece of technology. A revolution that could end up giving Russia a lead and would leave Western companies rushing to catch up. This piece of technology relates to aircraft engines. Jet engines are a truly complex piece of engineering, a marvel, and remarkable progress has been made over the decades. We all know about giants such as Pratt & Whitney, Rolls-Royce, and General Electric. These companies have driven innovation to include the creation of the first jet engine and moving from the standard four engines to now two engines for a normal wide body. Now the drive is to make them fuel efficient, allowing airlines to reduce their fuel cost and keeping airfares low while increasing profit. A part of any engine is maintenance and reliability. Airlines want engines to last as long as possible and for problems to be fixed with minimal delay. We we'll forget sometimes that the engine is the crucial power plant that provides power to all systems. Since 2018, Rolls-Royce have been working on an engine that can self-diagnose and be able to fix itself. No commercial jet has been able to have an engine that succeeds in doing this and it is in this area where Russian engine manufacturer Avia Vigatel has succeeded and the significance of this cannot be understated. Before I spell out the breakthrough in detail, please do consider subscribing and clicking the notifications icon. This would help the channel grow and reach more viewers. My goal is to reach about a thousand subscribers by the end of July. Let's get back to the video. The engine which has made the breakthrough is the PD-14, which now powers the all-Russian MC-21. In Russia, it is actually M. S21 as C is pronounced as S in the Russian alphabet, but I will stick with calling it the MC21. As I have said, the engine is the PD14. The Russians are careful about what they say about the engine, but once in a while, important information seeps out. Let's look at the specifics of the PD14. It has a hundred percent self-diagnosis and self-reconfiguration. This is new. This allows for reliability and safety. When the engine identifies a defect, this is identified straight away and allows for the problem to be solved quickly. The engine is programmed to take automatic measures to reconfigure itself, thus bypassing or adjusting for any such problem. No need for an engineer to fine tune or tweak the engine. This is what is unique the ability to configure itself or reconfigure itself. The idea of allowing a machine to fix itself may seem scary, but we must not forget that automation is what has made the aviation sector much safer now than in previous decades. We're also in an era of driverless cars, but there are more revolutionary changes with the engine. The two are the size of the engine and weight. It is half the size of a normal jet engine for a medium range with no loss of thrust. This goes towards solving the weight problem encountered by the MC21. Let's compare the PD14 and the CFM Leap engine. The latter is the power plant of the A320 Neo. Both are bypass turbofan engines weighing 2,350 kilograms for the PD-14 compared with 3,150 kilograms for the LEAP CFM engine. The fan diameter for the PD-14 is 66 inches compared with 78 inches for the CFM LEAP. In terms of thrust ratio, they are both very similar. Both use composite materials, so the comparison would suggest that the PD-14, which is obviously a more modern engine, is a better option 
but no doubt the other engine manufacturers will seek to improve themselves as they tend to spur each other. Since the Russians have an engine that can reconfigure itself, there's no doubt the Western jet engine manufacturers will believe that this can be achieved by them quickly to make their engines continue to be competitive. The viewer may doubt the PD-14, but this will be unwise. The company Aviad Vigatel is the mainstay of Russian engine manufacture and is responsible for the PS90A which powers the Ilyushin 96300 and the Tupilov 214. The company has been around since the 1st of June 1934. Rolls-Royce, on the other hand, has been around much longer. He started producing aircraft engines in 1916. General Electric started in 1942, later than Avia Vigatel, and CFM Leap only in 2008. Airbus started after Boeing, but Airbus are currently outperforming Boeing. Competition is good, and new entrants will enter the market and drive technology forward. The US military is currently working on self-configuring engines for its fighter jets. No doubt it will eventually succeed. And this will be applied to commercial jets if jet engine man commercial jet engine manufacturers haven't already figured it out. I am an aviation enthusiast and I'm excited about any project that can advance the aviation industry. I salute all jet engineers. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.